Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with the Homemade Entrepreneur, and today I want to answer some questions I've been receiving on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, probably in the past few weeks, I've received oh, probably a couple hundred questions. Uh, those are from comments, those are from messages on Facebook. Um, so I want to answer some of those now. So let's get started. Um, so sorry if I don't look up the entire video have some questions written right here have some questions written over here on the little whiteboard so kind of looking you know back and forth uh, trying to get dizzy so first thing what is the best category to sell in in my opinion based on what I've been selling um, and where most of my clients start what I recommend them starting with the best category to start in is toys and home improvement the reason I say toys okay is because you can find toys almost anywhere go to Walmart scan every single toy they have okay go to a Home Depot go to Lowe's go to any hardware store scan all their tools you're gonna see especially in hardware especially in the home improvement category you're gonna see there's a lot less competition than over at Walmart scanning toys okay so you have a good mix the reason I'm not saying books books I always recommend books because the profit margins are extremely high. The reason I'm not saying books right now for best category because a lot of people that are selling books or scanning books don't realize when they go to a thrift store, when they go to a yard sale, you can't you can't assume just cuz the book looks new, you can't assume it is new. I I purchased uh, hundreds thousands of books probably hundreds is more realistic hundreds of books that have that look new on the outside the pages were crisp the one issue that I had the back page or the front page had some type of scribbling in it saying this book you know is for so and so and some little message that's great that's you know very sentimental except for I don't make money with sentimental I make money with new so that's the biggest issue that's why I don't say books because you can look at a book and it looks perfect. The person that buys the book looks at that book, sees a perfect book. You said it was brand new. There are page 245 and there's a highlighter. Somebody used a highlighter and uh, just you know messed up your profit. Chances are they're going to send that book back. You're going to lose your money and that's that. That's why I don't say books. Toys, home improvement, or ho yeah, home improvement. Um, that is where you want to be. Um, you know, if you want to make good money, those two are the cat. Those are the two categories I recommend starting in first and moving on from there. Moving on to home, moving on to kitchen, video games, over to books. Go to you know movies. Get into clothing, shoes, grocery, health and beauty. There's money to be made, so just go out there and make it. Okay, so answer that question. Th those I have ten questions written down here written on my my uh, little pad but the question I kinda I'm gonna kinda put a bunch of them together so if you ask a question chances are it's gonna be answered right here efficiency items I'm just putting a little note how do I stay efficient what are some of the issues what are some of the the items that I use to make sure that I'm as efficient as possible first off have you know a newer phone I have the the iPhone 6s plus um, have a scanner so this is this is the uh, Comtac it's the KDC 200 um, you know, I'll put I'll put a link up you know I might put a link up for the iPhone you know an iPhone is so here's the Comtac it works really good um, it's not connected to my phone right now I didn't feel like scan anything but it's very simple push the button scan the item it's good to go so actually my battery's almost dead I need to scan that Another item that I use, this guy. Probably like, what is it? That looks like uh, some dirty toy. No, it's not. This item right here, all you do, if I can get it, so you can kind of see it. It's not as hard as it looks. So, all that's doing is holding my phone. That's all it's doing. So you take, you take the cart, and you put it in here so I think my lights a little bright um, so the cart would go in here 
let's say you're you're at Walmart and you put your shopping cart you put this around your shopping cart it's holding your phone okay let's say you're using profit bandit all right you're good to go it's like that let's say you doing something else you type in something doing some research you got turned turn it back now you got two hands free you can be scanning you can be sourcing and something else is holding your phone you don't need an assistant you don't need somebody else there to help you this makes it extremely efficient especially if you're scanning books scanner this little this little guy I'm not sure what it's called I think I paid like eight dollars for this thing um, I'll put up a link again I don't know the name of it um, it's, this is not an item that I made um, this is something you know I thought this would, this would be something you know pretty cool something that can you can strap onto your cart can hold my phone especially an iPhone 6 these things are huge might as well get a tablet um, so something like this that you can just put on the cart and hold it uh, this thing works great okay another thing um, hours per day how many hours per day do I work um, and that is it's kind of a loaded question because I do other things other than Amazon FBA so one of the things that I want to clarify hours worked for such as sourcing versus you know coaching those are completely different I'm gonna separate all those just talk about Amazon FBA Amazon FBA what am I doing per day uh, on a on a very busy day probably working about 10 to 12 hours that is sourcing that is doing online arbitrage reordering uh, private label products reordering wholesale talking with more uh, suppliers uh, dealing with customer returns uh, you know dealing with Amazon um, I don't let my employees do everything because I like to have control over what I'm doing over the business so I'm spending you know a good amount of time on a very slow day uh, I might I still I'm still coming into the office still doing work at least an hour a day um, so this four hour uh, work week um, I totally blow that out the door um, I like to spend some time working I like to see the you know everything that's going on I like to be involved so um, as far as that I'm spending between I say probably 20 to 40 hours per week is average okay so that's hours per day wallet what is in your wallet okay well so normally my wallet is a lot thicker than that okay uh, I blow through wallet so fast so this I think it was this Steve Madden wallet this thing normally you can see normally what it looks like is like that so what I, what I did I, I pulled out pulled out the money that I usually keep in it so as a reseller what does your wallet look like uh, first you got bank cards I have my tax exempts um, credit cards I got a Citigroup card no, that's the city group card. It's an Air Miles card. I have American Express, another American Express. I have a Capital One. I have a JC Penney's, a Costco. I have a red card, obviously. You know, if you, if you sell toys and you do not have a red card, you need a red card. I have a Walmart card. You know, that's yeah, JC Penney's card. I think I have two JC Penney's cards. I do. Don't know why. Okay, got some cards. Got gift cards. What does this thing go to? TJ Maxx. I got a Walmart. Got a Target. Normally, I don't keep Target gift cards inside my wallet because if you go to a Target sale, or you go to a Target and they're having a sale, it's like a buy, you know, three items get a five dollar gift card. Buy four items get a five dollar gift card. If you put every single gift card inside your wallet, you know I might as well just get a purse. On top of that, keep money. Uh, the the only reason I hold on to money um, instead of using cards, the only reason is if I go to a yard sale. Uh, sometimes I will go to a thrift store, Salvation Army. I don't like it when they get charged the fee for me to purchase, you know, a hundred dollars in items. So normally what I do I just pay cash. So. I usually keep about 1500 that's probably what this is um, so I usually reload every day pull out 1500 in cash just in case I'm gonna go to a thrift store a yard sale or a pawn shop so now I think I might have more or less I got three fifties right here 
So there's 150, 250, 350, 450, 550, 650, 58, 59, 50, 1050, 1150, 1250, 1350, 40, 50, 50. So 1650. So uh, not sure why I have an extra $150. Uh, oh well. Um, another thing I have, I have checks. These are just these are just uncashed checks. Uh, some of them are from clients. Some of them are for uh, affiliate sales. Got a reseller's permit. Have a copy of a reseller's permit. Just the top half. You only need the numbers. So that is what is in a reseller's wallet. I don't know about you. Um, I don't keep everything in my wallet. Uh, keeping money in, I hate keeping money in my wallet, but same time, you go to pawn shop, you say, out the door, I'm paying cash. Chances are, they're gonna accept your offer. What I buy, so when, I'm not exactly sure what, um, exactly what their, the question was as far as what I buy. As far as what I buy from retail stores, what I buy online, um, what I'm buying from a pawn shop, there's very, uh, different items that I buy depending on where I go from pawn shop it's mostly electronics calculators cameras uh, you know Nintendo stuff uh, Sony uh, you got PlayStation you got you know Xbox uh, old Nintendo's you know new Nintendo Wii Wii U uh, all those things I'm buying it all so it doesn't matter cell phones um, mp3 players uh, GPS um, one time I bought a uh, the Avalanche Beacon. Uh, the person did not know what it was, which uh, surprises me that a pawn shop is going to put something out on their shelves. They don't know what it is. I bought an Avalanche Beacon for $24.99. Worked perfectly. They did not understand what it was. Uh, again, very surprising. And I sold it for like $400 and some dollars, um, which, you know, I guess is a very good deal as the first the one and only Avalanche Beacon I've ever sold, ever actually even seen. So, you know, keep your eye out for Avalanche Beacons, I guess. They're very good. Okay, uh, answer that question. How do you scale a business quickly? First off, let's say, I'll just use money I have right now. Let's say, okay, Amazon just sent me the payment. So I have $1,650, uh, $1,650. Um, I have it right here. I am on Amazon just sent it to me. What am I do? Am I gonna okay? I have two weeks before Amazon sends me our next one Am I gonna take this the sixteen hundred dollars and divide it over 14 days for the next two weeks? No, that would be stupid. Why would you do that? What you need to do is go out there and spend every single dollar every single penny of this and go buy some more inventory Buy more inventory send it as fast as you can and move on Okay? The faster you get inventory into Amazon, the faster it will sell, the faster you get the money, you get the profits, and the faster you can scale your business. Uh, how much to how much to start? How much money do you need to start? It all depends. Uh, normally I say start with $100, go to a thrift store and learn the business. If you are just learning the business, you have not started yet, and that was probably the reason you're asking how much money do you need to start chances are you don't know what the rankings are you don't know uh, what the prices are from new to used uh, when you're selling a, a new toy that's great what if you're selling a used toy there's no such thing as a used toy it is collectible okay so what if you're selling a new electronic versus an old electronic what are the difference how do you know what to price it at do you match somebody's somebody else's price do you go lower to them let's say they're at $24.99 and they have a new product you have a brand new product they're very similar do you sell it for the same price do you go higher does it depend on the ranking all those things matter so as far as where to start how much money do you need to start I recommend a hundred dollars just to learn the business do that for a week or two put a hundred dollars in every single week and just figure it out if you need help that's what I'm here for I do coaching send me a message send me an email you can go like me on Facebook facebook.com slash homemade entrepreneur or you can send me an email homemade entrepreneur at gmail.com be more than happy to answer your questions and I also offer coaching $50 a month um, normally have spots so send me an email if you want to get a spot tips to start private labeling 
why don't I talk about private labeling? There's a reason why. First of all, my first few items that I ever private labeled failed. And they failed because I did not know what I was doing. Everyone said, all you gotta do, you buy something from Alibaba, you have it shipped over here, put it on Amazon, and it, it just sells. You just put a price on it, it sells. Uh, no, that's not how it works. It does not always sell. What I recommend, before you jump into private label, and if anybody out there watching this video has done private label before, please chime in in the comment section below if my advice, my tips on this particular subject are, are, they, are if they're valid. If these, this tip that I'm going to give right now, if this is something that you would recommend. Okay? Just put in the comment section below. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe people out there uh, have done private label that will be watching my video and they will validate this exact statement. What I recommend to any client of mine, what I recommend to any friend, anybody that wants to start private label, what you need to do is go out there, find a few products. Let's say, let's say you find just an example. You, let, this is an example, okay? Let's say you take this exact scanner and this, whatever it is, this little, I don't know, cell phone holder, and you bundle these two things together. What you need to do before you start private label is make sure you have the process down. Make sure, let's say you buy 10 of each one of these and you bundle them. You got 10 different, you have 10 of the same items, but you have 10, you know, sales. Okay? What I want you to do is you need to create a Facebook page. You need to do, you need to create some type of launch. You need to create some type of buzz behind your product, behind your bundle. Make sure you learn the process because there's there's probably millions of great products out there but nobody's ever seen them and why because the person the owner the creator manufacturer whoever it is that is bringing this to market does not understand how to market that item does not understand how to get sales does not understand price points does not understand uh, customers their base their market doesn't matter they just don't understand it so by creating a bundle or by bringing a new product to Am a different product to Amazon that is not already on Amazon. What you're doing, you're creating a listing. You are going from A to Z. Literally, you are starting from buying the product at whatever price. You are figuring out your price point, what you want to sell it at, who your market is pretty much. You are creating the listing. You are doing the, the photos. You are doing the description. You are doing all your keywords. You are doing everything. You're also figuring out how to get a sale. Are you just waiting to hopefully somebody jumps on because of your keyword research, uh, because of your description? Maybe you made it very enticing. Maybe your uh, your copy is not not up to par. Maybe people just aren't sold with what you are saying, what you, how you are describing the product. All this stuff could be done by creating a bundle, a simple bundle. You can go to Walmart, pick any two items, put them together. And now, when I say any two items, I'm not talking about going to buy tampons and putting it with the, the Paw Patrol toys. That's not going to work. Okay? Make sure they're, they complement each other. Put two items together, make a new bundle, and pretty much figure out how the process works. Because if you don't know how the process works, you can't take a, you can't, can't take a product from you know, buying to listing all the way to sales and customer reviews then what's the point of doing private label? Chances are you will not make it work. If you cannot do it with a bundle, you will not be able to do it with private label. So anybody out there that has done private label, if that statement right there, if that is not accurate, please let me know in the description below or in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to you know, anything. Just, you know, this is, this is coming from me. I do private label. I don't talk about it as much as I should because I don't feel that a lot that many people out there know the other side to private label the losing money side okay if you don't have money to put it in private label you don't have money to lose uh, you know I kind of hold off I try to build up your capital make sure you can sustain your business even if you buy you know 500 you know sample units or 50 samples of your product your private label product and the whole thing fails. So 
make sure you do that. Listen to what I'm saying, you know, rewind the video, watch it again, and I am dead serious about buy 10 products and when all 10 of them sell you got reviews one you know the process that you just did worked two you have you now have a replenishable bundle that you created you can go back to the store and you can keep selling that same item so that is my tip to you on starting private label biggest mistake the biggest mistake I ever made was I didn't bundle earlier I didn't bundle from the beginning and why is that a mistake the reason that's a mistake is because I went to you know Target I went to Walmart Home Depot and everyone said you scan the clearance items huh getting some periscopes getting some videos can watch some of those later um, so everyone said you scan the clearance items uh, is that is that true? Is that what everyone does? Yes, that's what everybody does. And that's the reason why the race to the bottom is now more evident than ever. People are always lowering their prices. Uh, I have a couple clients that actually go onto their their uh, account every couple hours and they lower every single price to be the lowest. Uh, no matter what I do, no matter how much I tell them not to, that their items will sell and that we're pricing them to sell but at the same time we're not pricing them to pretty much cut every other seller out uh, everyone's gonna get their cut it just depends when you get your cut what you're priced at so that was my biggest issue that was my biggest mistake is I didn't bundle earlier and what bundling does is it eliminates more than 80% of the competition because 80% of the people out there are taking their phone with my phone taking their phone scanning individual items going through the aisle scan these items they don't care about bundles. Bundles are not showing up on their phone. And because of that, they are not participating in the bundles. Which, if you do, I guarantee you're going to scale your business faster, you're going to make more money, and your business is going to be more of a long-term success. Last question. Most important tip to anybody, not just newbies, not admit, not uh, you know moderate sellers, not advanced sellers, to anybody, that's selling on Amazon what is my biggest tip to you my biggest tip there's actually three different ones first one is learn learn from YouTube learn from Facebook learn from Google learn from Periscope and if you're not following me on Periscope go follow me it's homemade entrepreneur um, if you're not following me on Facebook follow me on Facebook facebook.com slash homemade entrepreneur um, make sure you follow me on YouTube you're watching the video on YouTube so make sure you follow me click the subscribe button you know subscribe now there's a lot of great videos there's over 200 some videos on here um, so you can easily learn everything from Amazon um, so learn just keep learning every single day watch a new video uh, read a new article um, you know listen to some podcasts I don't do podcasts mainly because I don't think I have the voice for podcasts um, I don't talk clear enough yeah well you know we'll we can talk about my issues later so my next tip, most important tip is do research. Get on Amazon. Go to Amazon.com or wherever you're at and do research. See what bundles are out there. See what items are selling for. See what you can find that's selling for a high price on Amazon that you can find cheaper locally um, or online. Uh, simply doing research, you can cut your time in the stores in half or more. The next tip that I have for you is simply evolve your business. Okay, you're, you're making good money. That's, that's great. But let's say you are spending too much time, you know, listing. You are spending too much time, you know, sourcing. You know, hire somebody. Evolve your business. Take it to the next level. Scale up. You know, it's it's not that difficult. You can easily do it. You know, if you can hire a virtual assistant, you can hire an actual assistant. Hire a college student to come help you out to peel labels, um, to help you box stuff. Uh, you know, get UPS to show up at your doorstep don't always take your items to them you know make them come to you pay the seven dollars or whatever it is to have them come to your house or you know sub or pay the membership thing whatever it is um, and just do it if you have 20 30 boxes you know a lot of you probably won't but let's say you have so you have five and they don't fit in your little Honda Civic uh, simply call UPS pay the money instead of taking two trips down to UPS and ship your stuff Okay, so that's pretty much that's really all I got for you today. 
uh, answered every single question I think if you have more questions please put them in the comment section below again I'll be more than happy to answer your questions sometimes it's not always in the comment section sometimes it is you know in a video like this sometimes it is on Facebook but I will answer every single question that you pose to me so if you have any questions please comment below if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel click that button right there become one today and I'll see you guys on the next video alright you guys take care remember go like my Facebook page facebook.com slash homemade entrepreneur